going to, it wasn't that fun. Uh, uh, we, got, we got effects. I'm going to call up Mark Belcher from Uncle Spliffy. Uh, we do have Cliff Robinson in the house. Uh, so we're Come on up, Mark. Uh, uh, Mark uh, and, and uh, his company, Silverback Advisors, have been uh, uh, members of NJBA for almost two years now. A couple of years, been these months go by and by and by and by. Uh, but uh, it's got a, a fascinating story, and uh, we're privileged. Last month we did a sports and cannabis panel, uh, and this is the hottest topic. Today, I told you that Spot, Fox Sports is out there, ESPN, you just saw CBS covering this story. Uh, it is a national and international story because sports are one of those topics that transcends every demographic. Mom and dad back in Indiana, grandparents, kids, everyone is looking at sports and sports figures in terms of what the culture can accept. So in terms of the normalcy of cannabis and cannabis users, this is huge, so it is my honor to turn this over to Mark Belcher. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so for those of you who don't know me, my name is Mark Belcher. I'm the principal in the uh, Silverback Advisory Group of Sebastopol, California-based consulting company. And um, <clears throat> I um, had the good fortune uh, to <clears throat> make the acquaintance of uh, uh, Cliff Robinson and LeVon Scott. Uh, David and Linda Miller, uh, the partners in Uncle Flippy, back in December, and helped uh, uh, help them with the business architecture and strategy for Uncle Flippy. So, um, it, by show of hands, uh, have who has already heard of Uncle Flippy the grand report? Wow! Uh, yeah, good, good number of people. Outstanding. So, um, I'm not sure what presentation we have loaded here. And I guess uh, I don't know how to... Uh, oh, oh. And hit this thing right here. Okay. Okay, cool. So, uh, basically, uh, right now, Uncle Spliffy is, is merely an idea. It's a concept. Uh, we don't have any products yet. 2016 is a building year for us. Uh, we'll do extensive product development, so on and so forth. Uh, starting Sunday afternoon and through Tuesday, uh, we'll be working at the Arcview, Arcview event uh, at the Portland Waterfront Marriott. Uh, Cliff will be pitching his company, Uncle Splippy, on uh, Monday afternoon. And uh, uh, so far, uh, there's just been uh, an amazing amount of uh, interest in, uh, in Uncle Spliffy and Cliff Robinson uh, specifically, but um, you know, in, around sports cannabis as well. What does sports cannabis mean? Uh, what is the sports medicine angle? So uh, basically the mission is to embody the positive benefits and op of optimal sports cannabis designed for athletic preparedness, experience, focus, recovery, and relaxation. So <clears throat> um, if you think about it, uh, you know, I, I, I hope you'll agree that uh, sports and cannabis are actually uh, very um, beneficial with each other. Uh, it's a positive combination. Uh, Cliff's own story, um, you know, he, he cannot tolerate uh, the prescription pills that when he, in his playing days, you know, were kind of the go-to uh, medicine. And uh, indeed, he preferred uh, cannabis to you know, work out the pains, the aches, and, and so on and so forth. So uh, that's kind of the big idea behind this is just, uh, you know, cannabis, uh, designer marijuana made for athletes and active lifestyle enthusiasts. And the business goal within three years uh, to become the number one most globally recognized cannabis uh, company brand in the world. Uh, I have no doubt that we'll do that. Uh, the, the platform that sports brings, the celebrity that Cliff brings, and uh, are just, um, um, you know, it's, it's literally a, uh, a global conversation now. I mean, Swiss national television is sending out a crew uh, to uh, um, interview Cliff on Monday. Uh, Cliff is interviewed with uh, uh, news organizations from Spain, Italy, Germany, Japan, uh, all over the place. So it's, it's quite, uh, quite exciting. 
the value centers primarily are uh, sports cannabis, sports medicine. Sports medicine will be the largest economic uh, aspect of the company, uh, you know, at a, uh, at a, in total. So basically, in a very short period of time, though, there will be Uncle Spliffy products in every major sports um, association and, and uh, sports team in every locker room around the world. And that's just a fact. Uh, sports medicine, of course, you know, um, uh, again, uh, that, that's just going to be a, a tremendous uh, portfolio. Uh, and um, eventually we're going to get down to the very specific science of uh, sports medicine and not, uh, you know, really understanding those, um, you know, hundreds and hundreds of compounds that currently aren't uh, well understood, but that we believe uh, have, have value and to create very specific uh, health benefit outcomes. Uh, I'll, I'll introduce uh, Bernadette uh, Rodakowski over here, uh, who uh, is uh, literally going to lead that sports medicine uh, part of the business for us. Uh, more on sports medicine. Uh, basically, uh, Cliff is looking to engage, you know, world-class people. So uh, one of the our business um, uh, objectives is that uh, we uh, intend to always engage the very best and the brightest, whether they're in the cannabis industry currently or or not. And so we believe that uh, a lot of the um, you know unique uh, disciplined professionals are outside of this industry and, uh, and and we intend to identify those people and bring them in um well what is sports cannabis uncle spliffy's defining it and uh um i think you'll hear about it more and more uh, it's extremely exciting uh, uh cliff's advocacy mission is incredibly inspiring uh to uh, everyone that hears it hears it uh but uh, especially to me um it it uh, is, um, it's a game changer, it really is. So um, on, uh, on, on Monday, uh, Cliff is pitching and uh, looking for a $3 million kickstart investment. That's a very small part of the total um, investment uh, that uh, we'll need over uh, the next two years. Uh, but uh, really, again, building this big, building it right, doing it once, and, uh, and doing it right uh, uh, the first time around. No redos, you know, no re-architecture, none of that. We're, we're really gonna knock this thing out of the park. And, and, and we've got uh, some excited, excited people that are ready to uh, join the team. So, uh, you know, uh, Cliff uh, is looking, uh, so, so let me uh, take this opportunity because there's people in the room I've had this conversation with before. Uh, when you work with an investor, the money is really secondary. It's, it's actually the, the less important part of the whole aspect. It's finding somebody that has the right attitude, temperament, cultural fit with you and your desires and goals, and making sure, because you are literally getting married to, to this person or these persons. And so choose your investor wisely. This is the most important critical success factor uh, really in this industry if you're looking for money because a bad investor can make your life a living nightmare and, and that's just that's just a fact. So with that I'll open it up for questions if anybody has any and if not thanks for your time. What if somebody wanted to learn more about this advocacy mission maybe they could go to his social media where does that well, I'll tell you what, Bernadette, why don't you come up here? Because you are, you, you know this stuff down cold. Thanks, Mark, and thank you, everyone. I appreciate everything that MJBA does in this opportunity, but um, my background is that I have over 15 years of a medical sales background. So I've worked for major Fortune 50 companies, and it was at the last MJBA that I heard Cliff talk about his advocacy mission. And I, what is that? What's this guy who wants to go sell, you know, pot to athletes? What does that have to do with it? And it completely changed my idea about, you know, how serious this is, how serious it is for Cliff Robinson and his image that he has, and what it could mean for us in the cannabis industry. And so, 
He has a 10 point advocacy mission that is very serious and very much about changing the perceptions of cannabis to make it acceptable to a very wide audience, a consumer base, but we're gonna start at the very high levels, the professional athletes in professional sports leagues and the team physicians and trainers that are treating these people so that we can begin to change the acceptance level and what we know about cannabis and how it can affect sports performance. So if you want to know where uh, there are going to be posts coming out daily uh, of the, each of the 10 points of Cliff's advocacy mission, and you can find that on his Twitter account. It's at, at Uncle Spliffy Inc. And also on Facebook for that too. But I just want to encourage you to t check it out, take a look, and uh, find things that um, might relate to you and then share that with everybody else. Oh, okay. So are you looking actively for uh, partners, uh, producer, processors, retailer partners? And if so, what is the mechanism for getting in touch with you guys? Thank you for that. So um, at this point in time, um, is it with info or at the lowdown? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. It's lowdown at Uncle Splitby. This will be all on the, the Twitter account and uh, Facebook too. We are just getting this really off the ground. So thank you very much for your patience with this, but please watch for us. Um, and uh, we are looking for an uh, investor, or excuse me, um, people potentially to partner with, specifically in Oregon. And by the way, and I don't want to steal Cliff's thunder for this, you know, Cliff is very much a team player. I mean, he started his career here in Portland, his professional career here in Portland. And he's committed to Portland and Oregon cannabis as it is, and working with people within the community that we have here. So, I mean, I, I mean, you've got to give it up for somebody with a professional background looking to Oregon. And the fact that Oregon cannabis currently, I'm just going to say it, I, I, where's Brian or who was talking about that? It's like the sport, Starbucks of it. But truly, we have some of the most uh, highest guidelines for cannabis production that you have anywhere so far. And just like Oregon Tilt became a thing, you know, a, 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 a designation within uh, organic, which was way beyond what the USDA came up with. I mean, come on. Oregon Tilt meant something. Oregon cannabis is going to mean something. And the standards that we have are the higher standards. We're not going to have the problems Colorado had with pesticides. I mean, that's the goal. So these are going to be products that are coming to us that have the highest degree of uh, purity and standards that you can find. Okay, Washington will be Starbucks, will be the Nordstrom. That's it. Fantastic. Any questions? I have a question. Yeah. I I want to know why Mr. Spliffy is not saying anything as his own brand. Oh. Come on. Come on, Cliff. Come on. <laughs>